I started Thai boxing when I was 19 years old because I have uh, so much weight and uh, playing soccer I, I don't like it sometimes and uh, I choose then the fight sport to losing weight. One day a friend of mine uh, he comes to me and say, hey, I find a new gym in Ulm and uh, they make Thai boxing. Oh, Come, good. let's look at there and so on. And uh, one week later I went with him there and after the first lesson I was very excited and wanted to do the sport. And uh, I lose, uh, I think, 10 kilos in three months and I start liking the sport and uh, I start also to making the fitness with the sport. Yeah, after I losing my weight, I uh, still make the sport for getting fit and staying fit. And um, yeah, and really after ten years, ten years later, I decided to make a, a one boxing match. And because the guy asked me if you want to fight, I say yeah, of course I can fight. And then we started to fight, but uh, boxing was not my my world. And I make only one fight. And uh, yeah, ten years later, when I was 28 years old, I make my first Muay Thai fight. I win last time uh, and uh, I'm getting very excited to make more and more fights after this. One of my uh, favorite fights and one, also one of my best fights was in 2008. I fight for the European title in uh, Swiss, in Basel. I, find, I fight uh, against a local hero, Stefan Mabida, and I beat him on points. Uh, after the match, I'm getting the European title belt. And uh, yeah, this was the best fight. Punktet mehr als er liert die Klampen. Und da im K1, da zählt der Zeit die besseren Klampen bis jetzt. I have now in total uh, 47 fights, uh, 39 wins and 30 knockouts.
Fighting gives me a lot of experience. I get uh, a lot of friends, a lot of good friends, a lot of uh, fight experience, how they, I train in, in different countries, in uh, Holland, in Swiss, in Austria, also in Thailand. And uh, everybody uh, is training in a different way. So I get more experience and um, I can show them also my students in uh, our town, in our gym. In 2010 I decided to stop with the fighting and uh, focus more on the event. Uh, we started uh, making a cooperation uh, with Elite Boxing in Thailand and then I have really no more time uh, to train myself and also to fight uh, because I have a lot of work with the management and the organization of the event with searching the fighters. Um, and yeah, after, after two or three years um, for focusing on this event, I decided then to stop and uh, we build our good foundation with elite boxing and make uh, in the last three years a good work. After a few three years of working on uh, elite boxing events, uh, everything is run smooth and uh, I have more time for myself. And also the gym runs really good and my security company. And yeah, then it's getting a little bit boring and I felt something is missing. And um, yeah, one day after the other, I decided the missing part is the fighting part. And I decided to train and make a good comeback. Last year I planned a comeback then in August and uh, my first step was to uh, come to Thailand and have a five weeks training and uh, yeah then I booked the flight and uh, came to Bangkok to the Elite Boxing Fight Club uh, in Bangkok which is also the home, home gym of the Elite Boxing and uh, totally introduced me then uh, our partner from Australia Nugget McNaught which is also the best trainer one of the best trainers in Asia and uh, in Australia and I have a really good time with him, I learned so much and uh, really I follow him now, I try to, to uh, get now in his steps also and uh, yeah, I don't, I don't be used to the to Thai training but uh, slowly, yeah, if you work on it, slowly you, you get something new. Then I stayed five weeks here, last July, and uh, Nugget prepared me for my, uh, for my comeback fight in Swiss. Yeah, we, bo we book all together to, uh, back to Europe, and uh, we have then also one week later, we have then the comeback fight. Uh, it was a great victory, I knocked the guy out in the second round. And um, yeah, I decided then to take Nugget to Germany, two months, and uh, preparing also for my other fight. And uh, this was in, Aust in Austria. And uh, yeah, I think uh, Nugget give me now this what I need for an old boy. Huh? And uh, I work on it and I 
and I try to be fit for the next fight. Well, I'm now 40 years old and uh, I train every day and uh, I've, I think that people laugh at me so much but I don't care because I do it for myself, you know. I have more discipline in the whole life what I make, in my work, in my job, in my sport. I have more discipline when I have the daily training and I decided uh, to make more fights. When the body is going then it's okay. You have to, all you have to do is have to train to work on it every time and uh, yeah and I then I tell everybody that age is not a limit and uh, that's now my new campaign and uh, yeah and I look you know I go to sparring to other gyms and I spar with world champions and so stuff but yeah I can do it also there's no problem and uh, yeah if you if you, you if you train every day then you can also be a world champion no problem So after the good experience from last year, I decided to uh, prepare to every fight uh, with Nugget and go also to every fight with Nugget. So this year I have maybe four or five fights, but every fight was cancelled. And now I, uh, I take the next option, it get, it's an 8 June event in Germany. I fight there for a world championship. And um, I'm now also, also here in Thailand to prepare myself with Nugget. Uh, for the for the fight and everything is run smooth here uh, so, but I need really the, the the weather is a little bit hotter than in Germany and I I need my time to get used to it because the body is not so young but if you train every day then it's getting bigger. Thanks for the support for my campaign H is not a limit and also thanks for my whole fans out there especially the old guys because they know how I feel and they know how hard it is to work to get to into a fight and the young guys watch out you know why because the old bull is coming